So Benjamin asks, uh, do you know of a way to delete a team and the associated SharePoint site while keeping the email group? My understanding is no, because they're all very tied together. Because no, it's just you create when you create a group, it funnels up all of the all of the technology as part of it in the back end. So when you take one down, you're taking you know everything down. It's it's an all or nothing, is my understanding. Is it possible to migrate that content, like create a separate yeah. email address and um, migrate the content there? I think the thing is um, you're going to end up with a different email. If you're needing to keep the email itself, that's where the challenge comes into play because I've got this scenario going on at the moment where that particular email has been used and there's content in there, um, including chat and all the above, and that actual email is needed for another component now. but it kind of leaves us now with this this email group with content if we try and delete that but you've still got the chat but the you know right. so it just becomes a little messy yeah so somebody created a team using an email that it should have been regulated like or governed yes. right yeah yes. and now and now they can't reuse like if i were to create finance at abc.com and i'm not in the finance department now we've locked that down somebody can't use it so yeah. is that what people don't understand about? how interlinked all the pieces they are, are. With that, I mean, look, there's things that you can do, like you can remove permissions to the SharePoint site and even to the team site. You can, uh, you know, and, and just so that it it essentially hides it from the view of of normal people, um, and then still have the email open and have access to that. But it's like in the early days of Teams, where people would say, "Hey, I want to be able to, you know, I want to keep everything and be able to start it right up again," and be like. Well then, then you're not you're not archiving it. You're not shutting, which will remove everybody. Like, and again, they want to keep the chats. They want to keep the email. They want to keep all the different pieces. Like, they're all part of the whole. Yeah, and yeah. even a planner board. That's where people get burned. Like, they're like Christie's trip plans, and now there's an email of Christie's trip plans in the address book and all those things that um, you don't realize are being spun up in the background even from creating a planner um because it creates the group it creates the site it creates everything but the microsoft team um based on that but you can always teamify it later yeah there's on so the much stuff isn't it yeah and there is there's so much stuff because i'm found that i'm going through and going okay what is there trolling around the sharepoint trying to clean things up trying to work out if i start to use that for a, a you know a wider group how messy is it going to be and it, that's there's quite a lot that actually gets created and funneled as part of that group. So it's like, well, what, what my question is, what are you trying to do with the group ultimately to keep it going? Are you trying to just keep it as like a distribution list, which, you know, do something different instead? Yeah, you know. Matt, Matt Wade has a great infographic that explains yeah. uh, when you create it, when is a group created? And when you create yes. certain things, what gets created? And I, I love that. And it's a great visual if anybody has that. Yeah. I'll put a link in the chat for it.